Welcome to PSLE Maths, where you find solutions to PSLE Math problems. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Let's look at a question from Henry Park Primary School, SA1 paper 2018. This is asked by one of our subscribers. It's a ratio and a percentage problem. Usually, five mark questions would have a combination of ratio and, a per and percentage. This is question number 17. A school hall was decorated with 60 yellow and 60 blue balloons for a graduation ceremony. Mrs. Lee bought more balloons to decorate the hall. 35% of the balloons she bought were yellow and the rest were blue. Blue balloons. After all the balloons were put up, the number of yellow and blue balloons was in the ratio 5 is to 8. How many yellow and blue balloons were there in the hall now? Second part of the question. Mrs. Lee then bought some pink balloons and put them up in the hall. 20% of the balloons in the hall were pink. How many pink balloons did she buy? So the pink balloons is second part of the question. For the first part of the question, we start with yellow balloons and blue balloons each with 60. Which means they are in the ratio currently, they are in the ratio 1 is to 1. After Mrs. Lee buys more balloons, yellow and blue, it's given that she bought 35% of the balloons that she bought were yellow, which means the remaining 65% were blue balloons. 35 is to 65 is in the ratio 7 is to 13. 35 divided by 5 is 7, 65 divided by 5 is 13. So, the more balloons that were added are in the ratio 7 is to 13. After this, what happens? The new, new ratio of balloons, yellow is to blue, is 5 is to 8. So, now we have noted down all the ratios. Initial ratio, first ratio is 1 is to 1. More balloons added, where in the ratio 7 is to 13. And the end ratio is 5 is to 8. So let's assume the more balloons that we have added is 7 units and 13 units instead of ratios. Now we are putting them in terms of units. If this 13 units after adding the initial number of balloons cannot become 8 units which is the new ratio. So what we have to try is instead of 5 is to 8, 5 is to 8 ratio is same as 10 is to 16. So we try 10 units and 16 units. 10 units of yellow balloon and 16 units of blue balloon. You see the number of balloons yellow has raised from 7 units to 10 units which is 3 units increase and the number of blue balloons 13 to 16. That is also 3 units. That's what we want. The initial ratio is given as 1 is to 1 which means both should be equal. This part of the problem is usually the tricky part for the kids. It, at this stage, if the ratios are not tallied, in this case they are tallied, but if they are not tallied, then we have to try with different, maintaining the same ratio but different units. For 5 is to 8, after 10 is to 16, we can try 15 is to 24 or 20 is to 32. At, at the same, likewise, for the more balloons, 7 is to 13. Next, we can try 14 is to 26. So that's how we try for ratio questions to get them in terms of units. The moment we get them in terms of units, further the question is get simplified. Now they are given that the initial number of balloons was 60. So, 3 units is the initial number of yellow balloons and 3 units is the initial number of blue balloons which is 60. So, 1 unit is equal to 60 divided by 3 which is 20 balloons. Coming to the first part of the question, how many yellow and blue balloons were there in the hall? Now, which is in the end, how many balloons were there? 10 units plus 16 units which is 26 units which is 520 balloons. For the second part of the question, so after adding the pink balloons, the pink balloons were 
20%, which means the remaining balloons were 80%. So 80% of the balloons number is 520. 80% corresponds to 520. 20% corresponds to 520 divided by 80, which is 1%, times 20, which is 20%, which is equal to 130 balloons. So that's the number of pink balloons, which is answer for part 2 of the question. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.